Halloween is almost here, so that means it's time to gear up and dress apart for this year's spooky season. Every October for the past three years, I've posted a Red Dead Online Halloween outfits video, and judging by the rise in views on those videos and me being a businessman, I think I should take advantage of the seasonal variation and bring you another video featuring some of my all-time favorite Halloween outfits. If you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And with that out of the way, let's get into the first outfit. Starting things off at number one, it is actually this month's community inspired outfit featured by Rockstar Games. This was created by YouTuber Queen Inferno. I'm not quite sure what to call this one, however, it does look pretty cool and it's actually really simple to make. All you'll need is the horror mask with a Cordy shirt, I hope I said that right, with the penstock pants. And if you have a female character, then you'll need the lot cap sleeve blouse with a hitched skirt. And if you didn't already know, these clothing items are completely free from the Willa, Rawson & Co catalog. And the mask is available from Madame Nazar. While Madame Nazar has the masks in stock, it's best to take advantage and buy as many as you can because they're only available for a limited time. And the gloves that are used are the cartilage gloves. They are available in the Outlaw Pass. If you don't have them, the riding gloves work perfectly. Moving into the next outfit, we have the Devil. This is the community-inspired outfit that Rockstar featured on their Newswire last year, created by me. So this one holds a special place in my heart and I just have to bring it back. For this one, you'll need the red masquerade mask, shotgun coat, everyday shirt, paisley vest, puff tie, leather gloves, tuxedo pants, and the dress shoes. Next up, we have Leatherface. This is one of my absolute favorites. So to create this, you'll be needing the swine mask with the latnip shirt, dress tie, overalls, rope gun belt, and the millwright boots. Super simple outfit to make, but it looks so cool put together, aside from the tie clipping through. On to the next one, we have Jack the Ripper. This outfit is perfect for running around Saint Denis at nighttime with a machete. To create this one, you will need the short stovepipe top hat, trim bandana, leather duster, double breasted lapeled vest, everyday shirt, leather gloves, Martindale pants, and worn ropers boots. For the next outfit, we have the Scarecrow. This one acts as a bit of a camouflage and is great for sneaking up on your friends. To put this together, you'll need the field work hat, trim bandana, latinum shirt, workman's gloves, rope gun belt, patched overalls, and worn ropers boots. Moving on to the next outfit, we have Billy the Puppet from Saw. To create this outfit, you'll need the horror mask, full bright coat, bow tie, paisley vest, everyday shirt, Avery gloves, penstock pants, and dress shoes. Next up, we have Jason. Wait, to create this outfit, you'll need the slaughter mask, neck scarf, leather jacket, collar overshirt, workman's gloves, clavelli pants, and the hardy boots. Coming up next, we have Frankenstein. To make this outfit, you'll need the masquerade mask, roller jacket, everyday overshirt, rope gun belt, Clavelli pants and the hardy boots. Bonus points if you're able to get green gloves. I didn't have any, but it would make the outfit look a lot nicer. Coming up next, we have Dexter Morgan. You'll need the union shirt with riding gloves, depot pants and cobbled boots. Obviously my character looks nothing like Dexter, so you can either pretend he does or head over to the barber and change your hairstyle to suit. Up next, we have Jack Skellington. Starting things off, you'll need the horror mask with a puff tie, shotgun coat, Richfield vest, cordy shirt, again, if that's how you say it, riding gloves, tuxedo pants, and dress shoes. Up next, we have a very easy outfit, and that is Chucky. For this, you'll only need three items, the Donegal sweater, overalls, and the dress shoes. But to complete the outfit, I suggest heading over to the barber to make your character look a little bit more like Chucky. For the next outfit, we have the Joker. Starting off, you'll need the horror mask, roller jacket, buckskin king vest, cordy shirt, tuxedo pants, and dress shoes. 
Hopefully this outfit isn't as bad as the sequel. If it is, then hopefully I can make it up with the next outfit. The Joker, again. But this time it's Heath Ledger's version of the Joker. To make this, you'll need the horror mask with a tail coat, opulent vest, everyday shirt, dress tie, leather gloves, tuxedo pants, and the black dress shoes. And there you have it, my top outfits for this year's Halloween in Red Dead Online. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment on what outfit is your favorite, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video.